business in the front, party in the back, but a travel trailer. Welcome back to Rig Tour Tuesday. What we have behind us is something we are really excited to show you guys because we haven't seen anything too alike um, to this one before. This is an Alliance Ballard. This is the 31T13. Let us show you why it's so unique. So this is actually my first time seeing it. I walked past it a couple of times yesterday, but we're just gonna take a quick run around the outside. So initially, because they're trying to cram a lot in the small space, and Lauren will show you why on the inside, the outside feature of it kind of is a little more different. Most travel trailers come to here and lean back. This one actually kind of moves forward before you start to get the aerodynamic look of it going backwards. Two 20 pound propane tanks, plus a little bit of storage up front. There is also a generator right here, or at least a generator prep. I don't know if there's an actual, there is an actual generator in there. So it's locked. <laughs> Um, but even though it's a travel trailer, you know, big toilers, you expect a generator, but this travel trailer also has one. So because it's a toy hauler, there's not a ton of outdoor storage. There's no front pass through, anything like that. You do have a couple of marine grade outdoor speakers. I have no idea what that little door is for. So it does have the outdoor patio. Well, and Lauren will touch on that a little bit more as we come in. So we're at an RV show. We're not supposed to be back here. So shh. So coming down the side, you still do have an onboard fuel tank. That for me is the most impressive thing uh, because you still have the ability to fill fuel. I'm not sure the tank capacity. So we'll put all that stuff down in the description below. Um, but you have your transfer case, your 50 amp connection in. So one of the things I don't love, and, and you know us, we're not affiliated with anybody. So if you can see that right there, it's a cable slide system. I don't know if that's the way it's designed to be right now, or if this is just still, I know this is a brand new model or if they're gonna to move to a rack and pinion hydraulic system, I'd rather see the hydraulic. I don't like the cable slides. There's, I've heard of a lot of people having a lot of problems. All other slides are gonna be your Schwinn Tech slides. Uh, and then up front, you have your residential electric propane water heater, as well as your furnace. So with no delay, it's Lawrence turn, we're going inside. All right, so coming into your main space and Remember, this is a travel trailer, this is a toy hauler, so you get a ton of really usable space. These are actually really like big and comfy. They, didn't, they they are. They didn't, you know, they didn't cut corners right here. And of course that folds up if you need more space. You have charging here, you have cup holders. This is this is really good space here. So uh, again, I've barely seen the inside of this. Yeah. One of the things about travel trailer toy haulers that doesn't compute in my head is typically and maybe we have a picture of one I can find, but typically this entire space right, right. here is toy hauler space. Yes. So you only get the perimeter right. and then you have tie down. So to use the space functionally, you have to take your toy out and you have it. Mm -hmm. It is actually like the fifth wheel version of the toy haulers. Mm -hmm. It's finished in one section and a garage in another section. And there's a proper door so you can keep all your fumes and smells and things out here. So. This is designated toy hauler. This is designated re residential, which is why it's unique, why it's different. Yeah, and we're going to go out there in a second. We're going to start, we're going to finish up in here first. Yes. So up here, plenty of storage for some things up there. Nice big TV. I kind of wish it had a fireplace. I feel like that was a good enough space for it. Um, I I'd like to see that. So Alliance, take, take notes I'm, on that. I'm also curious what's on the back side of that that maybe prevented it. So maybe sure. there's something really cool back there. Absolutely. It's like trade the fireplace. Never mind. And as we say, you'll hear us, you know, nitpick other rigs, but we do that to our own rig too. Yeah. The, you know, that's how you get gross. We're fine. <laughs> it's not me. All right, in here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh wow. Huge pantry. And I'm gonna note adjustable shelves. That's adjustable why it looks shelves. like they've got, you know, like all spices there, and then apparently brooms down there. But you can move those <laughs> wherever you want. <laughs> so that's great. Nice big storage. It's deep too. It is deep. That's okay. at least Wait. two feet deep. Close to, close to for sure. So, and nice big island. They've offset the sink, so you have space here if you wanted to get two like foldable bar stools and actually sit here to eat. You have room to do that because it overhangs. And guys, I'm gonna apologize. I just noticed it. it the flickering, the little bars you're oh, seeing on the yeah. screen. This Alliance's LED lights do not like our camera. I've done everything I can possibly do to Sorry. get the frequency right. It's not bad as it was earlier, but it's it, if it exists, I'm sorry. It's not your eyes. So plenty of space up here um, with it being offset. This is a single basin sink. You don't have the divider in the middle, but you still get the, the swivel and of course that. So 
All right, if you want to come around here, I'm going to show you some of more storage. Oh. All right, look at this drawer. You could almost fit Ryan in here. No, you can't. <laughs> Maybe fit one of Ryan's legs in there. And then this giant cabinet. Yeah. Now, uh, I'll give it to you that we have a little bit of, you know, obstacle in the way here with the pipes and whatnot, but that's still a huge amount of storage, and you sure. can make that work for a lot of things. And it's really close to me, guys, but you also have the drawers here, so just a quick little, yeah, same one all the way down. So, but th there's... Considering the size constraint here, right. an absolute ton of storage. Now, compared to our 390 RK Grand Design, of it, no, but no. that's a 40 foot fifth wheel. Right. This is a travel trailer toy hauler. And so, when you think about what you're getting in this space, I think they've done a nice job with the aesthetic and the function of it for sure. Right. So, got that. Looks like the Furion 12 volt fridge. Because mm -hmm. I don't see the fins for propane, so. Right. And then this, is this convection, do you know? No. No, it's not. Okay. So, just a wee little microwave, but yeah, that's okay. Right. It's, it's a lot of good things. Again, not sure you're full timing in this. I mean, maybe, right. but mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, some, that's something you have to take into consideration when you're Absolutely. looking at these rigs. If you're full timing in it, you, you might want a bigger microwave. Well, and what's, what's your function? And this says a lot. Right. So, let's go look at that. At what? Oh, that's not nice. I'm, what is with you and Martha shutting doors on me all the time? <laughs> It's a nice door, all right? This this is very functional. It's not flimsy. It's oh, that's for the patio, sorry. Right, <laughs> right. So, uh, anyways, and it does get completely out of the way. So, back here. Go, go like racetrack style. So, start from over here and work your way to over there. Gotcha. So, not a whole lot to show back here, being that it, it's it is a, a toy, toy hauler space. You've seen toy haulers. We have plenty of tie downs <laughs> um, and whatnot. You have your exit over here. You have your system where you can get... Yeah, you, yeah I was about to say, you actually have a full-size Happy yeah, Jack system. Sometimes size, they yeah. will go with the smaller ones to make it fit in travel trailers. Right. And again, the other travel trailers that are toy haulers we're talking about yes. don't have this Wouldn't because have this. it's part of the living space. So the fact of the matter is, is that, and I don't know, this seems like it's still a 12 to 14 foot, 12, 13 foot garage. Yeah, we can verify that for you. Um, but it's, it's, you're still getting a lot of space. You are. And so you get the, the queen size bed that's going to come down. You get these that will, you know, fold, right. do all kinds of fun things. Do all kinds of fun all things. All kinds of fun things. They're you transformers. Know what, you know what they do. They're <laughs> in <laughs> toy hauler video, okay? And then you do still have your ramp and your fold-out patio here. Right. Uh, and with your little dog or kid screen, whoever you're traveling with. Guys, and, and one thing I will just point out <clears throat> is you do have a little bit of an incline here. That typically exists in a lot of travel trailers, but because... <clears throat> because the height of this is so different, right? In fact, let me get where you're standing. So what I'm trying to say is, because this is travel trailer height, not fifth wheel height, so that's a perfect example. I'll zoom in over there. You can see a travel trailer versus a fifth wheel right behind it, and you can see that height difference. I mean, there's five-ish feet, four feet of height difference, potentially. Um, so what that means, though, is your door can only be as tall as the opening. So when you're thinking about it from ramps, the ramp would be too short. It would be too inclined up towards us here. So they had to put a little bit of an incline here to assist. So when you do go to load stuff, it will actually come in. So if you're like, why is that? That's, that's kind of weird and dumb. Well, it's, it's because they can only have so much of an angle because it's a travel trailer. There's only so much height they can achieve using the door as a ramp. A couple of caveats, again, Oops. things that, uh, in my opinion, could use a little bit of help. This is a huge gap right here. So yeah, it is kids, small children, or pets. I, I see things falling down there getting stuck. Large husbands that are clumsy. And, and this is not technically like they have the three season doors where you can leave it open a little bit more. This doesn't have that um, capability. doesn't have that in this model. I don't know if you can order it to be spec'd out like that. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. So it's yeah. either just open or not. Right. Gotcha. And so I think I think you could probably get that adjusted. We, we know yeah. some Alliance ambassadors. We'll put them on the spot. <laughs> Alright. And then last but not least actually get a half bath in yeah. here. Hi. So I'll tell you right now, I know why there's not a fireplace now. Okay. It's the plumbing for the toilet. Okay. I get you. <clears throat> so, and that, you know, that makes sense. Um, and it is nice if you're going to have people sleeping out here right. that you have an extra half bath so, in there. It doesn't say there's a backer for a TV up there, but you have your connection, so I'd imagine right. the sticker probably just fell off or wasn't attached or something, so I would imagine there's a backer there. Um, and then Alliance is known for their direct dump ACs. They say it's more efficient. 
So in here, you do have a dedicated AC in the garage area. Sometimes on toy haulers, that can be, you know, different. Absolutely. All right, let's go to the other end of the room. What's in that door? It's a secret. Oh, good gosh. It's not a secret. All right. It's the other entrance to the bathroom. So the bathroom kind of goes roundabout. Gotcha. Yeah. It's a roundabout toilet. Roundabout. I like the barn door here. Okay. I think that it's designed well. It stays out of the way well. You have your little candy cane latch. You call it a candy cane latch? Okay. Um, and so you have that to keep it actually securely out of the way so it's not flopping about. So I think this design, I, I'm actually really happy with. All right. Moving in here. I'm not sure what size. I think this is a queen size bed. Yeah. <laughs> queen-ish. It's a queen-ish. Queen-ish. Supposedly queen. It, it looks like a queen. Yeah. You know, when you're at these RV shows and you're looking at stuff for the first time, sometimes <laughs> sizes look a little off. Right. So it, it's a queen, a, somewhere between a full, a queen, or a slightly larger queen. We're not it's sure. It's an RV queen. Who knows? But see the windows over there? You can get a yeah. lot of cross breeze. So, you know, if you're like chase, if you're chasing 70 or something and you want to open those at night, you could, you could definitely get some good airflow. Right. And then look at this closet. It goes the whole width. So you have two double doors that slide both right. ways. Now, there's not a ton of storage. The only storage you get in here really is down, down there. Um, and then otherwise right here and up here, except, ta-da! Is that, that floored? Okay, so it is. So, like mm -hmm. you could put shoes and or t-shirts or something. T-shirts, hats, anything like that. Foldable, yeah. stackable stuff. And then this is very tall yeah. if you look up here. And so you're not just, you know, having a little stack of t-shirts. You could actually have some bins or something up here that allow this space to be really functional. So if you remember what I was talking about, how the front bulges out just a little bit mm -hmm. instead of kind of being more aerodynamic, that's yeah. the reason why. So why. you could put... You know, shelving up there if you want. I don't know how it would stay in transit, but mm -hmm. you could definitely stack like bins and stuff and that kind of things up here. Plus, it does have the WineGuard Air 360 because I can see the little go. attachment port right there. So if you wanted Wi-Fi, you could attach, get that little router attachment to that and use it as a cell um, Wi-Fi or MIMO MIFO Wi-Fi. And while we're walking through here, things to notice, no floor vents. Yeah. So that means, you know, your toes aren't getting stuck, dog hair's not getting in those things, and no carpet. Did you so, just say your toes aren't getting stuck? How are you walking around floor vents? Just like, saying, it's possibility. Like, are you doing, what, what in, in ballet, what do they call that, the, the where pie. they're up on their toes, the pie, P.I.? Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, don't get your toes stuck in the floor vents. That's the, that's the moral of that story. All right. Hang on. I got to reposition. Okay. This is going to be really tight, so, and I can't really move. Okay. All right. So, and then that leads you to the bathroom. Good size medicine cabinet in here. Can I open it or wait? Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to be able to see anything, but you, you can are. open it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that, actually. So, I mean, that's decent. Again, offset sink. You still get some counter space over here. Some good storage under there, surprisingly. And then there is another cabinet all the way over here. Okay. And then your toilet is up on, it's like a pedestal. It's on a throne. <laughs> yeah, and then you do have the shower. Again, nothing's like huge here, guys. But no. the fact of the matter is that they took a design and really ran with it and, and made something really cool. Yes. Um, I, I'm not going to say industry first, but I'm going to say this was really good thinking. This yeah. was really good you know, upgrade. You talk about usability of space and all those yeah. kind of things. I mean, they crammed a whole lot and not a very big space. They really did. And I think that they were, whenever I read, this is actually just over 12 feet tall. So yeah. there are a lot more bridges you can squeak under than our 13 and a half foot solid. Right. Which is really handy. One other thing too, it stabilizes around down. It's over a little rocky, rocky. Mm -hmm. um, well, something Alliance does that I, I like, I don't, okay. don't know if you like it or not, mm -hmm. but they have these atrium style windows. So Ah, uh, yeah. So you have two kinds of windows. You have the frameless, which have the little bottoms that go, mm -hmm. um, and then you have traditional. So like these side windows, you can see on Lauren's side, mm -hmm. they go up and down. So you can open both of them and have like a cross breeze, which is how they have it right now. But with this atrium style window, it's it's you just kind of uh, know which way. No, it is. It slides one way out of the way, and then you just one of these panels, this one specifically because that's screen on it, mm -hmm. is just completely open. Right. So it it really kind of gives you. It really kind of gives you maximum mm -hmm. airflow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're smart full timers and you chase that 70 degree weather, unlike right. us. 
So thank you guys for joining us for this Rig Tour Tuesday and this Alliance Valor 31T13. Like you said, we'll put some information below so you can get some of the specs, but this is a really neat design and I hope they continue to refine it and maybe yeah. build on it for sure. So. Uh, we do enjoy looking at brand new rigs, especially during RV show season, which for us we're kicking off. Hershey's really the official kickoff. That was a few weeks ago. Yeah. Um, so we're at the Southwest RV Super Show in Dallas mm -hmm. uh, and getting ready for Tampa. Yeah. Um, <coughs> okay. <coughs> but just looking at new rigs is fun, but it's also fun to see what you guys have done to your rig. So right. if you're interested in having your RV, whether it be a Class B, Class A, it could be a tent, um, <laughs> uh, anything. We'd love to see how you modified it. So if you're interested in having your rig highlighted on our channel, mm -hmm. uh, shoot us an email at info at millersinmotion.com or just shoot us a comment below and we'll figure out a way to get in touch with you. Yeah. And from there, we'll, we'll try mm -hmm. and schedule that. So. Yes, and also, speaking of Tampa, when we're there, if there's a rig or a rig type yes. that you want to see, make sure to let us know. We'll put it high on that priority list. All right, and until next time, bye, Mom.